Hi, I'm Daria Artem with LadyFortunes.com and I'm here to show you how to make and mold your own lollipops today. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with a candy mold. Candy molds are sold in two different types of molds. You can purchase a chocolate mold or a soap mold. Those are available for, you know, uh, applications which are not as hot. There are also molds that are appropriate for hard candy, uh, which is 300 degrees plus. So here's the mold that I have, and they've got hundreds and hundreds of different styles of molds. I personally like to go onto Amazon.com to find all sorts of different molds from dinosaurs to tulips. And what you do is you take your mold. Um, I have these different uh, colored candy melts. These are available at any cake and candy supply store, and they're typically sold under um, candy melts, uh, or just uh, candy wafers. You put them in your microwave or in a double boiler. They're really easy to melt down. And as you can see, it's very easy to work with because it's, it's uh, melted. I work with disposable pastry bags. I really like using disposable pastry bags because they're just really easy to use and there's no mess. These ones here I purchased from a local candy supply store. And they're just really easy. And the cool thing is, is that if your candy melts harden, you can actually pop the bag into the microwave and remelt it right there. It's really easy, very user friendly. Don't have to be a pastry chef or lollipop expert to make these with, with ease. So what I'm doing is I'm folding the bag over my hand like so. Very important to get give yourself this space up here because that's what you're going to be folding over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill the bag with a little bit of the candy melts, just like this. We're going to take a couple really good spoonfuls. Now you can always use your spoon to fill the molds with. It's not absolutely necessary to use a bag. I personally prefer a bag because it's much neater and produces more predictable results. What I'm going to do is I'm going to massage all the air bubbles out of here and this chocolate is warm. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap the bag around my index finger. I'm going to massage it again. Not too hard because you don't want to make the bag rupture, but you just want to get all those air bubbles out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my scissors and we're going to cut the tip off and got to be careful because it starts running. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and squeeze and fill. And now using the bag, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just ease the chocolate into the mold. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our candy bag right there in case we need it again. And then I take a, a candy stick and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and drop that gets rid of all the air bubbles and anything else that's in there. We're going to take our candy stick and we're going to put it right on top and then we're going to just gently roll it. Just like that. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let the chocolate set. You can either do that um, with good old patience. Chocolate typically sets within two to five minutes depending on the room temperature as well as the starting temperature of the chocolate that you had. You can also pop the mold into the refrigerator. That will speed up the setting process. All right, so our chocolate here has set, and I can't wait to see how beautiful these chocolate tulips are going to come out. So as you can see, it just pops right out of the mold. Isn't that beautiful? For more information on making your own chocolate lollipops and for great recipes and ideas, go to www.ladyfortunes.com. That's ladyfortunes with an S.com. Mm -hmm.